This is Calabash Community and we move now on to a media workshop which was held by Ectel on Saturday. The objective was to update the media on the major changes and challenges faced by Ectel, the Eastern Caribbean Telecommunications Authority. Ember Charles is the managing director. He spoke about some of the pending changes Ectel has to deal with in addition to the challenges of monopoly by the flow. Kibble and Wireless merger. Right. We are actually in a period where um, a number of, of, of our regulations, a number of our laws which were first passed in 2000 are going through a significant revamp. The primary um, legislation which, which um, guides the operation of our, of our system is really the um, Telecommunications Act, and, um, which is supported by the ECTL Treaty. The Telecommunications Act is now b being revised and will be called an Electronic Communications Bill. This has been driven by convergence because um, we're dealing now with electronic communications where all services which, is, which were previously delivered on separate platforms or what we call separate routes are now delivered on a single platform with more efficiency, has significant implications as well for issues of content. The ECTEL Treaty itself may have made some revisions, um, especially in terms of the definition, because the treaty speaks to telecommunications ministers and telecommunications. Um, there are other areas in terms of regulations which we are developing in support of these new, new, um, this new bill. The, the other changes which are taking place is addressing the issues of, of roaming, addressing the issues of, of um, net neutrality, um, addressing the issues of number portability. All of these were initially envisaged in 2000. Um, but of course, you must have a particular regulatory agenda and you, you, you roll out the agenda according to the resources available at the time. Times of change, we may have to rethink some decisions. Um, there have been arguments about whether we should do number portability now in light of the fact that most consumers have, have um, subscribed to, to multiple services and uh, as a result addressing the issue of number portability. But the fundamental issue with number portability is, is giving consumers choice. Choice is a critical part of liberalization. And if you do not give them choice, then you, you, you restrict the ability to grow in the first instance and to seek a service at a more affordable rate. Um, this would force the service providers to, to up their game to ensure they retain the consumers on the one hand and on the other hand to draw consumers from you know, a provider who, to, with whom their consumers may not be satisfied. So all of these um, really, really uh, move towards the ideal of ensuring that consumers continue to have choice. Um, even in the, in the era of conglomerations and, and, and in the area of mergers and acquisitions, we have to put in the rules to simulate a situation where they still have choice. If they have no choice, then you apply some very tough regulations to ensure that there's no abuse of the dominant position of these um, monopoly or duopoly um, service providers. The acting chairman of the National Telecommunications Regulation Commission, Jerry George, also spoke about the challenges of monopolies and what the consumer has the power to do. Regulation is not just um, from the point, from the perspective of one agency enforcing rules and um, controlling what happens in the market, that the consumer as the ultimate um, agent who purchases the service does have power in determining whether who they purchase that service from and whether they continue purchasing that service and um, determining the level of satisfaction with that service and that they have power that they need to be able to exercise um, as far as what the, what the provider offers them and what they're willing to accept from that provider. Jerry George has noted a lot of anxiety about the pending merger but little concrete action by people who complain constantly. I would say there is not that much um, activity as far as agitation or as far as action. There is a fair amount of agitation, but some of that agitation tends to happen just in the public sphere or in the public square, um, whether that takes place in the, in the talk shows, um, social media and so on. But in terms of follow through, in terms of even banding together as consumers, you frequently hear that the um, consumer association making calls to ask people to sign on as members so that they can have, they can have um, sufficient mass in terms of advocacy on their behalf 
and those claims keep being repeated because consumers are fairly slow in signing up and becoming members of those associations that can advocate on their behalf. This is Calabash Community. We head back to the southwest coast and to PI, where a cultural group made a presentation of backpacks to students settling into the new school term. Okay, my name is Yandi Pierre and I am the president of Twadis PI, which is the youth cultural group in PI. Okay, well, what we're doing today is a backpack drive. Um, so we are sponsoring 10 students to return, well, they have already returned, but to uh, go back with, to the academic year with a school bag filled with school supplies. And um, we identified 10 students um, in need of support within our community. And um, we basically reached out to persons from PI who now live abroad to assist us with this drive. Um, unfortunately, we did not get as much assistance as we had hoped. So um, we ended up using a lot from our own personal funds um, to ensure that the activity could have become a reality. Uh, so I was about to ask you in terms of funding, so basically your own funding plus whatever support yes. you got. So put in the context for us, the, bro the, the, or the objective of the group mm -hmm. and how does this fit into your overall objective? Okay, well, initially when the group started in 2014, um, we were mainly focused on culture. Um, so one of our major um, objectives is to keep the culture alive in PI. Um, especially our traditional dances. So we're looking to have activities off and on where we could get the youth involved in cultural dances. Um, but now we have broadened our scope and we're looking towards the youth and other avenues that the youth would like to partake in. So we're looking at sports, we're looking at um, different activities. Another objective of ours is to give back to the community. Um, too often we have groups and they seem to be just taking from the community. So we want to give back, um, which is where this activity falls. And we also want to create forms of employment within our community. So when we have our activities, we reach out to persons so that they could come and sell, that they could get a source of income from whatever activities we may have. On that note, we conclude Calabash Community for tonight. We'll get back to Shwazil in tomorrow night's program as that community launches its Je ne Quai 2016 program. Join us then. I am Bernard Fannis.